All right, welcome to part two of the lantern tutorial. Let's uh, continue where we left off with this. So I kind of figured that I think these pieces are a little too thick, so just select them all and press R and just scale them in on the Y axis. Oh, actually, make sure you have them all done. Hmm. There we go. Scale them in. Go to the left view, press uh, F3 to get into wireframe, and just bring them pretty close to the edge. You don't have to get it perfect because they are going to be sunk in a little bit, but. And there we go. So perspective, press P, and then F3 uh, again. So there we go. Now they're a they're pretty good size. Next. I just want to see how it's going to look. So rotate it 90 degrees, and go in the top view. And let's just um, hmm. select the other one and bring it up here. All right, zoom in and just get it set up. kind of mess up this, so just select this one, actually no, the other one, and mirror, okay, what happened was these um, pieces were on the inside, so select this again, shift drag over, mirror it a second time, T for the top view, and just drag it over here. Now, I'm thinking this isn't going to quite work, because these need to be squares, they need to be two times as thick or else we get this kind of uh, problem. So let's go back on the top view and just delete this. Perspective. Um, let's select the four main pieces here. Press R to scale, go on the top, and just scale them until we get kind of a square piece. Okay, like that. And then bring this back to even it out. And select, I don't want to do this, this piece and this piece and scale them inward a bit. Because these pieces are still supposed to be uh, skinny. Now when we copy this, let's go into the left hand view I guess, and just select these pieces here, and shift drag them back, and then we'll rotate them this one 90 that way, another one 180 the other way, and just move this one over here. So go into the top view and line this up. Uh, again, J will get rid of those lines for you. Alright, or the bounding box, as it's called. And line this one up. It's interesting. Alright, I'll look at it later. And finally, let's select all of this. Bring it over here. Mirror on the x axis. And then just drag it until it fits. Alright, now if we see what we have now, we have the base of the lantern. That's pretty easy. And okay, apparently that pauses it. Um, 
So I just want to see what will happen here. Okay, yeah, so no shadows or anything. So next, I just want to get a plane on the ground here so I can see kind of what's happening. Alright. So there we go. Next, I guess we can work on the base of the structure. So we're going to have just one piece that we're going to copy four times. So, go in the front view, and this base is going to be three times as long. So, let's see which one is it with. Nope. Length. Okay, so we're at 20, so let's make it 60. Actually, you know, let's make it 50 just in case. Okay, and bring it down here. Convert to an editable poly, and then just drag the edge to a little bit more on each side. Okay, go to perspective here. Select the whole thing, and in the left hand view, just even it up. Make these a little closer. Okay. Next, what we're going to want to do is, let's see, alright, yeah, I guess we'll do it that way. So select all four of the bottom verts here, and let's just drag them a bit more further down. We'll drag this down, and go to edit, select this, and connect it, oh, I don't know, eight times, should be good for now. Go in your front view, vertex mode here, and let's see, these are where the legs are going to be, so let's select these and scale them out just a bit to get them smaller. And these are what we're going to have to detail with, so let's drag these up and scale them outward. Okay, about there, get these, and drag them up, and then let's select in here, and connect uh, three times, and bring it up there, and right there. Okay, so that'll be that main piece, I guess. And next, what we're going to want to do is just spread out some of these things in the top. And let's apply a mesh smooth to this. That won't look good right now, but we're going to fix that, I hope. So, let's just select everything. Um, in the edge mode, and then deselect all these internal edges. Okay, so we just have the external edges. And let's also deselect um, these edges for now. Actually, you know what? No, let's not do it this way. Let's do it a different way. Um, select all these edges, connect once, and let's just oops, sorry, slide it down. Okay. And oh crap. Okay. Right, connect again, and slide it up. Let's connect these lines and well slide it over and then do the same on the other side. 
connect. Slide it over a bit. Now let's see what we have. All right, that's a little better. Now we need another connection down there, so. Let's cut from this vertice to, oh wait, we can't do that, can we? That'll give us a triangle. All right, let's um, work over here first. Let's bring this up and select these and these and bring them up. All right, I'm just trying to get it a little sharper and then make these kind of more swoopy. So, front, let's just increase um, these a bit. And what we're going to do is select this and this. Oops. Connect. Oops. Connect with zero slide and zero pinch. Okay. And then you're going to take these and you're going to bring them close. What that'll do is it'll kind of reinforce the uh, mesh mood there so you get a sharper looking edge. And that's not half bad. Alright, next let's uh, reinforce this edge. So connect and drag it over here. And connect and drag it over here. And if we're lucky, this will help us get more square corners. And it does. Perfect. So there we go. And yeah, we need at least two. Three is not bad either. Now these are still kind of not as sharp as I'd like. So what we can do is go in here and just adjust them. So bring them a bit closer. Actually, no, what we can't do. What we should do is let's go in the left hand view. Select all this. Connect. Okay, select all this and connect. Now we should be cooking. So mesh move. Ah yes, perfect. Now we have nice sharp edges everywhere. And even when you render that out, it'll uh, be nice and smooth looking. Once you put textures on, it'll be quite nice. Alright, so there is the base. Now this is actually made out of one piece of wood. It looks like. So, I'm going to attempt to do the same thing. Looks like my little cursor has died, so press X. Wait, what's happening here? X to get it back, and shift drag. Make a copy. And on this one, let's delete the mesh move and delete the mesh move. I just wanted to see what it looked like. So, now what we can do is let's drag this out. And we're going to want to edit it a bit. So we're going to connect on these edges here. So we need to delete all that. So we're left with the open space here. And actually, yeah, that'd be fine. And let's attach it to that. Okay. And then on this polygon, let's grow. Oops. F2 will get that box to be different. Let's just grow it once and delete. That way we'll be able to uh, connect it. So in your element, select the other element here. And actually that'll be it for part two. I'll see you in part three where we'll finish off the uh, base.